Hey guys, it's Pauls of Aries. How are y'all doing today? So, I'm telling you, I'm still scared to death of this, as most of you guys know. Um, this is not my forte. So today we are going to be working with these items, and these that might look familiar from the last time we poured. Uh, we have the the bowl. It has a lot of smudges um, around the area, so I kind of just want to redo that. We have the poker chips. These have been taped on the bottom so they stick so that you're easier to pull them out. We're not like smudging the paint everywhere. I mean, as you can tell, they didn't really turn out very well last time. So we're kind of giving it a new, a new life. Uh, this one here is the painting that we did the pour on last time when we did the, the, um, the experiment. This is actually how it turned out. If you remember, we put the uh, chips on the sides and we let it pour one big thing. This actually turned out nicely. It, it's not the best, but it's not. I do like it. Uh, as you guys can tell, this is one of the cheap dollar store canvases. So it did work because it had a lot of paint. I'm not sure if you guys can actually see that, but it's actually a little bit cracked. But since we're just practicing, I am not really, I'm not worried. This is all practice to see what we are doing. You do see we have these chips here. They have been primered. I just want to see if we can, if we spill anything, if we can catch it type of thing. I think that'd be great. These are the colors that we'll be using. I'm going to be using the blue which is this color here, dried. This here is in leftover paint, purple. It does have dimethicone in it already and the Floetrol. And that one is this color here. I'm not spilling these. This very light gray is also a leftover paint that also does have dimethicone in it. I'm not sure how that's gonna work because this one's actually really old. I don't know how old it is, but it is up there in age. We are also going to use a gesso white. This will be getting um, more of the flow troll than normal because I'm really worried about how it bubbled up and cracked. Not cracked, there was no cracks, but it's just, it, it bubbled up. Um, and kind of like left these like little creases in the thing. So we're going to try a different formula, see how that works, how we like it. Um, also, what you guys should have is handy dandy wipes. As you know, I do reuse these. I can show you guys a little bit later, but I make little notebooks out of them. So I think that is super cool. Uh, we will also be using dimethicone. dimethicone. That's how you say it. We we're only gonna use like one to two drops of this. I'm not sure if this was also causing maybe the bumps and all of that. I really don't know. Uh, like I said, you will need tape if you plan on doing something like that. That's just so we can hopefully grab the tab and pull it out of the paint without it destroying it too much. But it is all learn and have fun. Popsicle sticks, reusable. Awesome, dollar store. These are also reusable. These are two ounce cups. Get them um, pretty much anywhere. Dollar store is mostly where I get them and then they also come with little lids like this one here. This one of course doesn't fit this one because it, yeah, wrong, <laughs> wrong setup. So I believe that's everything. We do also have some paint brushes just in case, a scooper. And if you don't want to get have to wash your hands 50 billion times, we have our nifty gloves. And yeah, this is where we get all flustered and everything that happens, right guys? So these two right here, the purple and the gray, we do not have to do anything with. It already has the dimethicone, it already has the Floetrol. I when I made these up, I did um two tablespoons of Ultral to two teaspoons of paint and a few drops of the dimethicone. Um, the only difference is they just, oops, they've just been combined together and made into these colors. 
Do that one there. We're going to start with you always shake your paint, guys. You might have a little bit more bubbles, but always shake your paint. I hope you all are doing good today. I hope you guys can hear me. I know this is still super new, and I'm trying to get all of the um, the sound effects and all of that working. I do actually have three drying racks. This one's really nice. It's because it has a little handle, so you can actually do it either way. You do it flat or kind of like a broiling pan and have it on top. I like it on top like this, so it kind of gives a little bit of a lip, so we can kind of go around. And then we have these guys here. You're not going to be able to see them, but I have showed them off before. And these you guys can get at the dollar store uh, for two for a pack for a dollar. And it's they're, they, they work wonders. If I can show you guys in a second, um, they they are very colorful. <laughs> and that is everything. So let's stop and get to work. Um, I also like this one better because they have smaller holes, so that when I put a two ounce cup on it. It's not like totally going bananas like they do in the bigger ones. These are also at the dollar store. We are going to be using a one tablespoon and a half a tablespoon of each of the floored flood and well, the, the gesso, of course, but the <laughs> flood, this is just a, this is going to be the medium. Uh, so we're going to be doing that and the color evenly this is where I kind of wish I had a three ounce container which actually I do uh, I've got some yogurts and they're actually three, uh, three ounces so I'm going to be trying to use that and see how I like it Later on, I do plan on having a little bit of subtle music in the background so you guys are not totally bored when I start to concentrate and not able to talk. But if you have any questions or any ideas on what we should practice with, let me know. I would love to try anything at this point. I'm going to use the uh, thing to clean that up in one second. So that was half a tablespoon, and this one is one tablespoon. So we're doing a one-to-one -one ratio this time, a real one-to-one -one ratio. However, we will be overstating the paint to the container compared to the last time. So I want to see how this consistency is. The reason we're changing it up to one-to-one -to -one is most of the people I've been searching that is what they use for their paints, but they also use high grade paints. This is just paints I got at the um, hardware store as oop paints. You know, paints that you got that you didn't like the color, there was a the wrong color, you know, it didn't mix up right, whatever the case might be. You bring it back and then they put them on the shelf, like this one here. Go ahead and keep all the paint, guys, because you never know how much more you're going to need. Like this one here is called a sample paint for your like living room, your kitchens or, or whatever. And you can get these at your hardware store, these sample paint. Um, usually these are about $4. I got it for like $1.25. I mean, come on. That much paint for $1.25. It's, it's, <laughs> it's no a brainer. <laughs> it's a no brainer. And once, you know, if I decide to go higher grades, then yeah, I'll look into like the golden brand and all of those. But right now, I just, just not in our budget. Okay. We're going to clean this out because I don't want to make sure we get exactly the same amount as both of them. Plus, who wants dried paint, right? Oh, I'm trying to clean it up and I'm just making it a more mess. Oh, that one had two. Oh, okay, so now we're going to do floral. This is 100%. Uh, 
I just put it into a recycle bottle. We're not using this again until the next color. I might want to try just one tablespoon of each and see how I like it later on. I just know I'm, this is the amount of paint that I will be needing for this. Okay. We've got our first paint done, technically our third paint since we had some already made up. I'm going to use the same stick and we're going to stir. Watch those colors marble. You guys can see this all right. I tried to set up the camera a little bit different uh, so you guys can get more of a, a view. I did also change up the um, table. I'm using old bookshelf um, cardboard uh, shelves here. And I got it a two by two, so it's a little bit more room to work with less chance of spilling everything so that is our first color we're going to just set that aside like i said remember we can always reuse these we are going to be using it for that but just because i don't want a big mess i'm next up like i said it's perfectly easy and simple to use and if it does get too cakey on there you can just pull it right off and throw it away okay now we're going to start with the flow half the tablespoon Put the half done one tablespoon This is where I kind of wish I had two cameras um, able to hook up to the computer so you guys can get some more angles going down. One basically at me while I talk so you can kind of understand more of what I'm saying. I know sometimes this gets a little bit more uh, harder to explain if you can't actually see the person talking. Okay, so we've got the flood, the flow all that is the medium. You can also use uh, Elmer's glue or Mod Podge water. If you don't have anything like that, you can just use plain water with the paint. Um, that's, there's always something you can use. Always something that you can, you know, change out and have it work. All right, so next up we have our gesso. I would suggest, gesso is basically just I believe a, a more heavier paint um, than the regular white, but it's white, white is white, but it is a lot thicker, I've noticed, compared to some of the other whites. And that's usually what you just coat your bases with. This is where I wish I had some type of a pigment to go in there to kind of give it a little shimmer. But we'll get to that one. That's gonna look really nice mixing in with this white and the blue. This one you wanna be a little bit careful and pay attention to any type of lumps, clumps, anything like that since it is a white on white. You're not gonna see the beautiful marbleness. 
get to the sides done. Kind of push the paint from the sides to the middle. See so yeah, how it just flows right off? That is what you're looking for. That complete, nice flow. It's not clumpy when it falls. It's not doing anything like that. Okay, so now we're done with the espresso and the fluoride. Done with the, the pink paint. We have a purple. We've got the gray. We've got the white. We've got the white. We've got a really pretty blue. A nice gray. A really nice dark uh, burgundy purple, depending on what you guys want to call it. I just like to stay a little clean, guys, because you have to clean up later on when you're done. You just want to be done. <laughs> you just want to be done, guys. And I don't mind my hands getting a little bit dirty like this because it's just, if you don't get dirty, then you're not having fun. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and just clean up a little bit more. I have a little table underneath here, and it's really nice. It goes into the garage. But the less color you have while you are working, the best. We do have this we still need to add, but I'm going to be adding that in a bit. Sure you guys can see this properly. It has been moved quite some time today. Um, so let's go ahead and we're not going to do any dimethicone in white. So that one could be set aside. Uh, we're going to do a drop to two drops in blue. Remember, the more you stir, the smaller the cells are going to be. I haven't learned how to do cells yet, so I don't know if I'm doing something wrong or if, yeah, but that's fine learning process. I already have some in this, but I do want to stir it. Since it is an older paint, I'm just using the back side of what I've been using with the blue. Just test up our paint. Yes, yeah, that's kind of clumpy when it comes off. So when it does that, you can either add some more of your uh, medium or a little bit of water but not, you don't need very much on this one. I didn't bring my water out with me. I usually have a container like this with distilled water or boiled water. That would be enough. All of those are mixed. a little bit more and I've already gotten paint all over me if it needs any more than that I'll just grab a little bit more water so how are you guys enjoying this is is this something you guys are interested in A little bit better. Really don't want it too thick. Pumping off a little yarn.
Sí, no, pero... I can already tell it's it's not perfect, but for right now, you know, this will do. Like I said, it is an older paint, and it is going to be a little bit thicker than than the rest of them. So just add until you get a good consistency that you like. Uh, this is the purple. We've already had the dimethicone dropped into it when we first made up the paint. This is a two tablespoons of the flood to two teaspoons of the dark purple paint that we used last time for our items that we are covering up today. Next up, we're going to mix our paint. I'm not sure if I'm going to do a pour or a like a, a flip cup pour like I have been doing, or if I should do a pour where we actually kind of decide where it goes. We have our four colors. I'm actually going to start with the purple. And with the blue, All right, let's see more in the middle. Then the white, barely have any of the gray, so we'll do more white, and then we'll go for the gray. The whites are the heaviest paint, so they're always going to fall to the bottom of the cup. And as you can see, we are kind of tipping a little bit. So that's something you want to watch out. I'm probably going to have to go outside and um, rebend that. We are pretty much full on this cup. But what we can do is put a little bit more gray on her. We're going to have a lot more paint than I expected, but I've got tons of things we can use. So this is going to be our first cup. That's a two ounces, remember, that's two ounces. We're gonna just reuse the cup that has the very light gray. And we are going to mix the colors again. Okay. And we have just a bit of these three colors here, which is not a big deal. Like I said, we can always reuse them for something else. If a side needs to be done, we can also do it that way. I knew the gray wouldn't have a lot because that was a little bit of a guy. Now here is the fun part, the fun that everybody came to see other than me ramble on to myself. Kind of put these into somewhat of a center so that when this falls off, kind of gives a little bit of a legging to go on to. Then we're going to take our bowl, make sure you know where the lip is for your tape. That member that will get painted on, and it might make a smear. So this is all practice. Don't take whatever I'm doing in gospel because I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> we are just having an entirely fun time. As much as even as I can so that it actually falls on to these little guys. Got it one there, one there, and one. And what you want to do is lightly stir your paint. 
That's her. Oh, you guys can see that, but that is actually kind of And of course, I only keep those types of This is where I want to dice. You can either go dark purple or the more blue. Now let's go ahead and go this one. And um Let's do a swirl instead of a pour. I mean, instead of a flip cup. Let's see, try to do something different. And not make a huge mess of a <laughs> in the process. Oh, this is so scary for me. Okay, so we've done that, we've done that, we've done that. We are going to go in one, two, three. I'm gonna pour slowly, get the edges. Colors going. Oh, that top is so pretty already. Just what's in that cup is gorgeous, guys. I want to actually kind of tilt this a little bit this way because I don't want it to totally fall off the side. I didn't actually pay attention to that, of course, because why would I pay attention to that, right? Okay, we're going to give that a set. I'm just going to try to blow on it with my hot air since I did not bring my uh, heat gun out. I don't know why I didn't bring my heat gun out. I thought of about it like 80 times. That's just to kind of break up some of the bubbles that might be happening in here. Okay, then what you're going to do, if you can do it, is find those little tips. Pull up your bowl without moving it too much. And I will bring you guys over. My, my hands are going to touch this. And just very carefully. Bring that over then what we're going to do is take the tip three that is guys I don't that and that is going to flatten out by itself if you do not if you don't tip it over it will come out nicely this is where a piece of uh guys would come in as well Slowly tip it just like a regular paint. I want to keep that, but do remember it will even out. I don't like how these are the only bad thing when you do this when you come back you're not going to get oh that's that part up you're not going to get a really gorgeous striping like you do when you first because when you pick this up and you take it back down all the paint kind of gets into a muddy mixture Paint got stuck to my fingers, sorry about that. <laughs> and then our last one, not least, is this one. Kind of guiding it over the edge, but not letting it actually fall. Goodness, that one keeps sticking to me. So next, 
This is really nice. I love how the cells have already come in here on the sides. I think this is like the best cells so far I've gotten. Um, and that's actually saying something. So next up, what we're going to do is a meat in the middle. I don't want to really mess any of the middle up yet. You see this, guys? This is where it gets scared. One, two, three. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, okay, we can do this. We can do this, guys. So next up, we're just going to lift barely any. Let that plop. And let this little drip onto that bottom one there. And we're going to very gently rotate our pupil painting. If we can get over a catcher, but I don't. Those cells? The cells is basically what I'm talking about is the um, little circles. I'm not liking how this is becoming all one color. Sit for a second. We're going to get the sides. So it has something to play off of. Upside down. Yeah, this is. That one would have been beautiful if I had it a little bit over more. Okay, so since this is. A little bit settled. Do remember this one had the tip in it, so it's going to settle in the middle. I don't want to lose any of this beautifulness. Yep. Back. Always go back to the middle. You guys do this so that you do not lose any of the actual stuff. Plus it gives the less chance of muddiness. You guys could just see what Like me very much. Birds look good. What you do next is you can do a either a paintbrush oops, off of there. You can either do a paintbrush, you guys can do a popsicle stick, anything like that, and just pick up any droppings that you see. Or what you can do is just dip to a different color. And I'm doing it from the underneath since it has the bubble. Just going along edges to kind of smooth those those colors out. That way we are also making sure that the edges are covered. If you can, just basically kiss the paint with your brush. So that you're getting all of those mixtures in with it. Now 
this is the fun part. You're not scared of messing up anything because this, this is all a trial and error. It's all learning. And I didn't like the first part, so what did I do? I just made up another batch of paint and just redid it. Nothing to be scared of. Not talking to you guys. That's something to be scared of someday. There we go. Okay, so we've got four things done. We've got one painting. I will be taking actual pictures of this other than just uh, what we can see on our camera here because I can't get any closer than what I am. With that camera because it's connected to my computer. So we will definitely be getting some actual pictures of this wet and dry, so please stay tuned to that. This video um, stream will be up on my creative YouTube channel for Cats of Curiosity. I do also have Positive Aries, of course, but that's mostly our games. And you can also have just picked up this whole thing and done that. What's great about this is it's just easy and picking up her. It's, that's it. That is how easy it is and clean. But I did not think about how I was going to do this when I put everything on this side. Because, you know, pause doesn't think very well on that one. Okay. We have our... You, I, actually, I really do like this one a lot better than I did... Yeah, uh, first round. That is telling the truth, guys. I really do. Sorry, I'm kind of moving these around a little bit to see if they were going to drip. We have our four guys here. The tips are going to get filled in. Uh, if you can see like around this edge there and this edge there, there's still a little bit of the um, paint. But isn't that pretty? I like how that shines. I really wish it would actually stay that color. Sorry guys, I'm just transplanting the items onto a different rack, or should I say the same rack? Now this is the racks that I'm using on the other side. Like I said, these have been used so often and you can get them at the dollar store for two for a pack. Don't like that right there. Really don't like that. Now we have an empty rack so that I can just transfer this. So I really kind of, I, honestly, I do not like that at all. So what I'm going to try to do, if we have enough paint, is just slowly try to move some of these over there without disturbing too much. Too much paint on Um. What to do, what to do. Whew. Just trying to get if to see if some of that paint will actually come onto here. Good 
Just kissing it, guys. Just kissing. Usually this is where we speed up, <laughs> not the fun part of the paint. Come on, catch it. And smoothly go. It's going from like super gorgeous to, oh no, you're not doing what we want. This is also why you can use a wet uh, dip as well. I think I'm just ruining this too much for it to be saved for that corner. Set this little guy onto this side as evenly as possible because, like I said, this is a little warped. Okay, so what we can do with this is either let this dry completely by itself because that's kind of cute. That can get some really good skin jewelry skins hi i'm sorry i can't read chat i believe it says red i'm not sure and something i believe this starts with an l little mac woohoo read that sorry guys the computer's like way over there and i'm super over here so it's really hard for me to see what is reading so i do apologize if you guys have been there for a little bit just trying to save as much of this as i can This one's a little bit cute, as you guys can see. I'm gonna tip it a little bit, kind of smooth that around where it's gonna go and take us. So it's not moving much on this one. So what we could do, since we have an even coat on the sides there, kind of like a half a moon. I am going to use our already used cup. I'm going to take one of blue, a little bit of a smaller of white, and the last of our purple. Kind of not muddy it we're not muddying the the paint we're just kind of like mixing it around a little bit so it can kind of get a flow and just kissing the side the paint to the side see how it kind of gives us that little color in there that's what we're looking for once the color we just don't want the mud
Like I said, we will be getting pictures of all of these when they're done. Right now they don't look like much, but that's just because we're still learning. The big learning part is not to touch the wet paint when you're going over there to, to put things away. Um, I really want to do some dips with our last tokens, but I'm not seeing much paint that is going to be viable. I have enough room, but I have, don't have enough room, guys. That is so funny. There. We have a little bit of paint there. Let's go ahead. I'm just going to dip it. I'm just dipping it. Lifting up. I'm going to give it a little swirl look. I would like some more paint in there, so what I'm going to do is just grab our stick again. And since this is already becoming muddy, what we're going to do, we can also use our little uh, scooper. And of course, guys, I didn't even use my, I didn't even use my gloves in this. That's how much I wanted to get into this. And we're just going to do it right into the middle. Get that extra little paint. I'm going to kiss the sides just so we don't see those indentations there. Like I said, those will even out, so it's not so blobby. And you know, who knows, these might not turn out at all whatsoever, you know, because we did have to redo these. So, you know, it, it's, it's a work in progress. Um, I like that, so we're gonna leave that, let that kind of dry by itself. Uh, this one I like too, because I can do a lot of stencils out of this one. So that one we can go ahead and keep and let that dry by itself. What I'm going to do right here is just what we did on that I'm just going to cover up the little holes here so we have an even side there. Okay. We are going to take this one that is like half baked, <laughs> it's half there. And we are going to, we can either dip it in this one where we get the rest of the gray and then some of the red, or we can come over here and get more of the green. So red or green people. Doing in highlights, red or green. I can't read it. Oh goodness, guys, I'm so sorry. I've got to figure out how to how to change that so I can read it bigger. Red? Okay, we'll go for more of the red. I kind of figured you were gonna say red, but hey, you never know, right? Because one might be prettier than the other. So once again, this one already has paint on it. It does already have some red, so what I'm gonna try to do is put the side that has the red and dip it into the red where the blue and the white will be here. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> that is my story. Oh, that's ugly. That's pretty cells in it, though. Like I said, we're looking for the cells. So who knows, maybe once it flattens out, it might look nice. Because, you know, sometimes the ones that don't look good at all are the ones that turn out the best. So it could. It could happen, right? And just because I have these three extra ones that I don't want to, you know, do nothing with, we're just going to dip them in the same puddle. 
just to kind of coat them again for a later purpose so we can just do a pour gives it more a little bit more paint because like i said it barely has any paint on this one and it's just white so that's not it's not going to do anything for us i just wanted to get some of this paint up Yeah, you can tell if I don't really like a corner, I'm going to keep trying to fix it. It's going to suck because I know it's going to smear. And that really sucks because that's why we're redoing this one in the first place is because it's smeared. Find some other colors in there. Keep this up where it needs to be. I'm just trying to get some red into it. Even though we're not going to keep it, <laughs> I just want to see what happens, you know? Some people do this and they come out with some like gorgeous, gorgeous things. So you just never know. Okay, Toki and Achoki. So we have two left of these guys. I, do, I have tons of paint left, as you guys can see. We have a little bit more blue we can work with. We've got some whites we can work with. We also got a beautiful purple. I wish I could just clean this out and keep it. I know you guys can't see it, but it's really aggravating because it's beautiful. It's more nicer looking than these guys have been. So it kind of gets you like, really? But hey. That is what happens when we create, right? Um, so we have two of these. I'm just going to put them over here. That is what we're going to do. We're going to put them over here. I mean, want to talk about being something, being really beautiful. I don't know. I really wish I could see what you guys see on that. But you see how those colors kind of mix in there? Kind of a little smooth. Yeah. Yeah, guys, it's just the way it rolls. Only reason I'm doing this is because we have cats, and if I pick this up, I don't want any of the ex extra paint that we're not going to be keeping for skins, like this section here, to roll off and or have a kitten jump up here. And, you know, kitten prints are cute, but not in real paint. Non-toxic, you know, paint like that, super cute. Heck yeah, to that, guys. I mean, look at that science. I really wish I, you guys could see what I see. So once these dry, you can just kind of scrape out what you guys need to and reuse them. Okay, guys, so let me go ahead and see if I can show you these without messing them up 100%, because you know me, I will. We'll go ahead and scoot to this back. Love my beautiful hands, guys. Isn't that lovely? I'm taking a big old shower after this. That's, that's like one of my gifts to myself after I craft. It's like, it's shower time. But if you do stay tuned, I do have a very cute kitty cam going on after this that you guys can check out and enjoy.
that is the first one. This one is wet. Do remember it is still moving, as you can see, just barely there. So it is moving still. So this will not dry like it looks, per se. Some sections might be thinner, some sections might be thicker. Can you guys see that all right? This right here, see how it kind of uh, comes out into like little bubbles? That, that's what's called selling. That is what we're basically looking for is the sales. Um, it's all right. It's, it's one of my better ones. Not saying much since, you know, I haven't done many. But very nice. These are the chips. Can you guys see those? Okay. Oh, I just got paint on my own self. On my black shirt. That is what we do, right? So those are the chips. And that's just from the paint that was dropped off into it. Then we have the bowl. Do you remember these bowls here are handmade paper clay bowls that I also made up myself? I like how the co colors just... um. Kind of went on there equally there's no like big one color spots so that turned out really nice Sorry, trying to clean up as much of that paint that I just dropped on my shirt as possible. Now, do remember we are going to be reusing everything that you've seen here that uh, we're reusing this. This is just a regular plastic bag, your trash bags. These can actually be folded up. Like this is the third time I've used this bag. Now I'm gonna turn it inside out and then use the inside as well. And then what you do is you just kind of turn them back inside out, roll them up, no waste, no anything. You won't have any paint anywhere with that the same thing with these guys as you can see i've used these so many times you can get these at the dollar store and reuse them as many times as you want these are little like baby wipes slash makeup wipes um and they kind of look like this afterwards but do you remember you're going to be using more colors and you can use these for like book covers i know that sounds pretty cheap but it is you know it's viable if you just want to learn how to do certain things um yeah so this was fun <laughs> this was fun you can usually just let these dry but i'm not going because knowing me since i'm in this mood right this second i'm going to go back and find more stuff to paint maybe not on camera i don't know we don't know on that one I'm going to keep that because that's a pretty, that has a pretty tip. I can reuse that. Always clean your tools. And guys, that is it. So I believe this is my third um, stream. This is my third crafting stream. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Give me one second and I will move over there to read your comments and I will whisper a little bit more since the um, thing is pretty close. And then afterwards, I will give you guys kit and cam, which that is what I should have been doing while doing this, was give you guys kit and cam because you know, that's what you're here for. Um, just to show you what I mean about what I'm talking about with skins. See those two right there? Yeah, they kind of marble and look really nice. What you can do is use a punch out and make jewelry out of them. Focus? Yeah, focusing? Don't know if that's focusing, guys. 
So later on when those dry, I can actually use a hole punch and make like earrings or bracelets or jewelry or anything like that, or even use them in a uh, scrapbooking, which uh, Pa signed me up for scrapbooking for Mondays. So that is going to be so much fun. Not, <laughs> but hey, uh, we tried. So yeah, so maybe we can use these some stuff for some of our scrapbooking. Okay, I'm going to walk over so I guys you're not going to see anything beautiful at this point. Um, oh no. Nope. Yeah, we're not moving those. I was going to try to move these into the, the camera stage. Okay, um, I'm sorry guys. I really do not mean to um, miss your chats and you guys have been chatting. Oh my goodness. Red, hello. Hi, sweetie. Great look so far. Hi, everyone. Uh, Little Mac, hi, if you're still here, you should have your phone near you with a chat on. I don't have a cell phone. No cell phone in my house. Well, the husband has one, but I don't. Um, I see, hey, she does. Oh, <laughs> thank you, Red. I just read that. Thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, I know, right? I need to have something. We had a Kindle at one point in time. Um, I, maybe I can see what I can do about having a Kindle and having the pop out. I tried to do the pop out in this one, but I couldn't get it to work um get it to work hey johnny how are you uh laughs out loud and says do it again <laughs> little mac too funny uh green oh you say green i see two greens oh no i swear i saw oh i saw johnny say red oh, okay so that's what happened i should have do the greens then sorry about that <laughs> shut up mac uh don't mess with the big mac uh, Don Johnny, he is playing with himself. Ooh, he's playing with himself again. Ha ha ha. They're pretty. Stop overthinking. Oh, thank you, Red. I try. Um, but you guys know me when I'm when I'm when I'm over. I overthink everything. It's like no, I I can't calm down. Um, you should sell that. What should I sell, Johnny? I'm sorry, I don't know what that is. I should sell what I'm doing. <laughs> You're not supposed to paint the artist. I know, right? Uh, after you're all done. No, oh, I will. For sure. For sure. Okay, guys, I'm going to go clean up. We are going to get pictures. I have to get pictures of these still wet because that's when they're they're pretty. These are gorgeous when they are wet. I'm going to give you a kitten cam. Do forgive the little dirtiness you see on the floor. I didn't realize they were there until after I did it, and then I needed to mop my floor. So thank you guys for the support. I, I hope you guys enjoy this. I promise you these will get better. Remember, I've only been doing this like three times, four times. This is, I think, my fifth time making these. <laughs> so we will get better. Um, and I will catch you guys in a bit. And I hope you guys enjoy the kitten cam. Thank you, Red. I appreciate it. You are my darling. Okay, let's see if I can get this to work quickly. Oh, I think it's, why is my thingy? Okay, well maybe you guys might not get kitten cam. God, I... Okay, guys, I do apologize, but you're not getting kitten cam. My Steam labels is actually uh, frozen. Like, I can't actually see this screen right now. Um, but I will have kitten cam up for you guys in a little bit um, later on. So I hope you guys enjoy. And look for them on YouTube, for sure. I'll have them on YouTube. Now I'm going to have to do all delete with red paint. But thank you, guys. I hope you enjoy. Um, I can't even raid somebody. Can I, I can't, okay, hold on. Let's see if I can rate somebody um, who is on right now. Anybody doing a crafting stream? 
Anybody doing a crafting stream? I thought Pat Duck was on today doing a crafting stream, but I did not see him. Um, Queen of Hearts. Yeah, it's not letting me do that either. Sorry, guys. I hope you have a good one. Catch you later.